Okay, this is my first video, but, um, well, using a microphone anyways. Okay, so pretty much it starts with a basic window, and it has a no main, no main win command. And, uh, then you have file, quit, which is standard on anything I make. Uh, and then you have the window sizes, basic command, static, and buttons. Then we have the open command. And then we have the font, which is something new I'm learning, and pretty much have down, it's just one line of code. It just is the exclamation point, word font, the times you, the kind you want. I can go times new Roman, and I can use time new Roman, but I prefer Arial. And then the wait statement for user input, my standard quit. Just close the window, then end the program. And then we have a counter, simple index plus index, equals index. Then we want to print whatever the index is at on the line of code that we have in the window. And then we have our timer command. We issue it by using the word timer. You can see because it's in blue that it's a command. Then red equals numbers which is a thousand and as it says here one second is goes a thousand and five hundred goes half a second two thousand equals two seconds etc so it has a timer the amount of time to wait and then where to go when that amount of time elapses now to make sure this works you have to have the wait statement or it'll just skip over the line of code so you have your wait statement which is waiting for the one second and then it goes through its process this is just repeating this little section right here. So let's see what it looks like. I've moved this around a bit so it can have uh, up to a thousand. Let me extend that a bit. Time example. And let's just hit start. So what it's doing, it's going index, which is zero by default, equals index plus one. So it would be one. Then print one on the line, which it's doing. Wait a second, then do it again. So 1 equals 1 plus 1, which equals 2. So print it again. And based pretty much it's a loop. Well, it is a loop. And then it'll keep going until the um, maximum size of the static text line is reached. Which in this case, it is, it is 98 uh, pixels wide. So we can check to see how long it would be by using index equals a thousand and you can see how index e equals index plus one works since index equals a thousand it starts by adding one to that and then it'll repeat from there let's say if it was that then it reaches the maximum size of the line and see it's not doing anything But there's actually stuff going on. See, now it's reached 10,010. But say if we extended it to say 110, play. Just have to make it a little larger. See, now it's going on, but it's still not quite big enough. And to keep from having to extend it, we would just go over to here add another chunk of uh, pixels start still not big enough so come back just go what the hell with it and make it big and there we go okay that was your basic basic explanation of debugging personalizing making it more aesthetic for user interface and how to use the timer I hope you enjoyed this this is CPJ production it's just a fancy way of saying I made it. And I'm going back to watching Dukes of Hazard right now.